Hello. No, it's because um, I rebuilt the mic last stream, didn't I? When I had the mono issues, so it was only coming out one ear, uh, yeah, one channel yesterday. So uh, the stream deck wasn't working to it. Morning, Robert. Morning, Mighty Morty Woody. Hey, hey, hey. Right, first open race. Hope everyone's well. Hope everything's working. So yeah, it's been my first Porsche Cup open. And then we'll do a fixed after, and then I do need to head away. But I really enjoyed yesterday's race, so let's have some fun. Don't you? Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, I doubt it as well. It's too early. Why'd she lock?
Oh. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Just trying to get up to speed, these are my first laps. And the only practice I did yesterday was the race itself. How many races did you do, Robert? Morning, Emily. Hey, Boggy. Morning. Uh, not good. About 20 seconds and second attempt, two hours and 20 seconds. So, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Tough day. Yeah, it sucks. Eighteen hours. Yeah, see, that would have hurt more. At least I got to chill on the sofa and have an evening. 18 hours in. No, thank you. What a shame. Matty, are you doing some of these this week? Sweet. Morning, Tommy. Yeah, I think the soft's going to be low, but I can only do two early races, then I'm off to Apex. I'll be back later. Question. Shoot. I do, yeah. Red, the red spring. Um, the red spring, and on calibration, I'm two footing it to the floor, mate, to get like the most calibrated data. Like leaning back in my chair and pushing two feet. And then I think I'm running 50% of that standard. The only thing else I changed was the throttle on max preload, absolute max. But yeah, I'll show you the software. So I am absolutely... When, when I uh, calibrated it, I calibrated it to like... If I was to put this to 100, it would be the force of God, right? <laughs> 100 is all the pedal can handle on the red spring. Basically, as much as you can do. I had two feet on it and I was pushing back in my chair. And then I'm at 50. And everything's linear. 
Alright, better practice then to start. Alright. Elder in, welcome. Yeah, I'm on a uh, 12900K 3090. Hey, Marcus. How you doing, mate? Uh, I may, j I will drive the Imta combo, yeah. Probably in GTP. Just had a bam. I've got a bam there, look. You can see it there. That's a bam. Oh, maybe the specs are wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I'm in Apex today, actually. I'm heading in. I'm doing two races, then I'm in to Apex. So I'll grab a bam then. Yeah, I do get high FPS. People have 40 cards come in in my chat and complain. <laughs> but it is just optimization. Some people were on and on and on, so we held a quick challenge on chat, right? I rebooted my machine, so I've got a stream machine, okay? And I got everyone in chat too. Bam, okay? Not a good idea for getting just Twitch viewers, I know. And then I showed them how many processes were running on my PC. And I think mine was at like 89 processes. The average in chat was like 270. One guy who had a 13900K and a 4090 had 397 processes running on his machine. You know, iRacing is very CPU dependent. And if, it doesn't matter if you've got a... 14900K S with water cooling. If it's busy doing shit, then it can't help. Our racing's just not well utilized. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be a fresh reboot. A couple of things can spawn a couple of things. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is the problem. Throwing extra hardware, it does help, but unless you put the time in and optimization in, time and optimization is worth more than going from a 3090 to a 4080 or something. Especially in iRacing terms. Most games, no, of course not. Because they can utilize the GPU. Iris just can't. No. I mean, things haven't really improved since the 1080 Ti's, I don't think, on iRacing. That was a gig card.
Oh, I need to register for the race. I'll finish this lap, then we'll register. Silence. <laughs> Look, there's a known fact. We like tracks for faster. We hate tracks for slower. And uh, I think it's true of cars as well. I don't mind the way it drives. Hey, Dan. Morning, morning. I just don't fancy it, Marcus, to be honest. I don't want to drive the Acura. It's not a car I enjoy. Man, that was going to be a gear lap. I was just hoping he'd die. Right, let's register. Oh, my Lightroom's open. Man, we're getting gear FPS. <laughs> I still had Lightroom open. Okay. Let's go. First shop is closed. No, not valid. Lightroom is boosting FPS. Yeah, everyone's going to go home and be like, I, I know what the trick is David's doing. He's just opening the Lightroom. Bam. Oh, yeah, good. Killed a parked car. Yeah, he, he parked on the racing line. I was on my hot lap. Morning, Evo. It's the Acura. Even if you can go quicker in the Caddy, it's ten times as hard. It's unfortunate. Oh, uh, you just said that Acura shite this week. You think Porsche? Ah, oh, I think it's Acura. But yeah, I'm not a huge Nordschleifer fan in sprint format. Um, alright. I used to be better at stand starts. I can't get the second phase right. It's a bit better. Yeah, it's all good, buddy. Morning, Tom. How are we doing? Yes, I should, Ovo. I will. Because obviously there's things to do with latency and... Um, latency, frame timings, and FPS are three things that people model. You can improve your um, frame timings, but it will hit your FPS, and most people will perceive that as worse. But to be honest, if you improve your frame timings, it feels a lot smoother. If it costs a, if it costs 15 FPS, it's worth it, as long as your FPS is staying above a certain threshold. Um, 
because you've got all this NVIDIA reflex and ultra low latency NVIDIA options and uh, AMD frame something. And all of these tools are available in iRacing. The ultra latency does come at an FPS cost. And I'm actually running that now, so I could get a little bit more FPS if I wasn't. And then there's NVIDIA Reflex and Reflex Boost, which calling it Boost does make it sound better, but all Boost does is in times of heavy CPU load is keep your, is ramp your um, GPU clocks up to keep it um, tickety, to keep the frame queue light. How's everyone doing? Um, do you think uh, Intel is better than AMD for our reason? Consistency terms, yes. Motherboard terms with USBs, yes. Single core performance again with those X3Ds, whatever they're called, no. I think AMD at the tippity top end. At the top end, uh, takes the crown, but only at the top end. But as I mentioned, the USBs and the motherboards just... Because we sim racers need so many USBs plugged in, I think Intel takes the biscuit on that department. But as a streamer, I would only go Intel, personally. Well, I say the X3Ds or whatever it's called. Is it X3D? The top end cards. They are so fast for running iRacing. Gotcha, yeah. Here's the X3Ds, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty gangster, those things. Well, I'm running a streaming PC, but I haven't been for years. Uh, the streaming PC is a new thing for me, running. Only because of YouTube and Twitch, I want to stream on both. And I didn't want to run the same encoder, so I'm running two encoders, so... YouTube's getting a 1440p, uh, 25,000 bitrate, HEVC, X25, X265 rather than the 24. But no, it's just a case to look at your streaming settings. Check things like game mode, check things like process priority, check things like um, the NVENC settings. Because if you can run the NVENC encoder, calm enough, the GPU won't even notice you're doing it. Hey, Robert. This will be our first peak up open. Uh, this will be open. We're going to do open, then fixed. And then, yeah, off to Apex. Tommy has entered the building. Thanks, Ranga. Trying, just learning. 
as fast as I can. Get into streaming. In a galaxy far, far away, in a time long, long before dinosaurs. He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good, good, good lad. Thank you, Robert. Been working really hard, man. On optimizing it. So I'm also pushing this to YouTube in, let's say, 1440p. Uh, obviously, Twitch is using the HD, H264. On YouTube, I'm using the HEVC, so that's the 265 encoder. With 25,000 bitrate. And yeah, I'm just trying to get every pixel perfect, but it takes a lot of time. Oh, I waited for this guy, he's gone. F. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Not bad for the first lap. Damn it. Nice. Good exit. Let's go. Wow, oh, this is gonna be a lot. Don't 
Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. <laughs> uh, they're different sessions. So when you register for a race session, there's only three minutes of practice, eight minutes quality. Yep, should be here. Yeah. I'll post it all up and advertise it. We'll have to see what the numbers are like. Because, yeah, I was away for two weeks. I'm really happy with that lap. That felt really controlled as well. I didn't feel nervous. I didn't feel like I was uh, getting close to cutting. I just felt really under control there. This was really good. I think we started throttling, yeah, really early. And I didn't lose the rear. Yeah, we opened up like crazy and got just back in before the off track. Ooh, I'd say it was a bit too close. I don't know what the soft will be like. Tommy's here. Let's go. <laughs> Giga, Tommy. Man, I ain't seen you doing a Fisher in ages. It's nice. Yeah, just enjoy it, mate. Yeah, we are carrying this off a little bit. It's not too bad, actually. I've seen worse. We'll take this. Right, let's see if I can carry that momentum for her. 44, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. four. But we shall see. I just breathed my coffee. I didn't swallow any of it. Took a mouthful. And breathed it into my lungs. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah, literally inhaling it. It's the worst feeling. <laughs> Hold my OP, hello mate. Yeah, nice caffeine hit.
Yeah, that's a good point. I don't like the coffee to the waste, so I wasn't going to let that happen. Oh, look at my all timer. 43 5. What temps was that? So I can't use a old B lap. When did I do a 43 5? Okay, David. Was I that fast back then? <laughs> hey, Jacob. Jacob, I managed a 44 4. Less plebby. Let's see what I can do now, though, when it actually matters. <laughs> Yeah, I could only do the one, unfortunately. It's a shame. I can do two now, though. Then I'll be on tonight. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm by no means fast in pickup. Just learning. <coughs> Yeah, Tommy's in chat as well. It's Giga, right? <coughs> Ooh, I thought that might be an off track. Hey, Charles. Good day, Jared. F. Right, we need a better second lap than that. Much better. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to. Is it enough for pole? No. We're a little bit short. Ticket flag, ticket flag. Yeah, it was right. Although Dave just did a one.
All right. <laughs> We're faster than yesterday. And I'll race it again tonight. We'll race it again tomorrow. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> what, did you finish it? Did you post it? Man. Still, though, you're coming out rocking. 44 eight's no joke, mate. That's good. Yeah, I will be racing pickup tonight, yeah. Both. Good luck, Tommy. Man, peak up and rain. All right, let's get the show underway. It's always small grids like this. Is this normal for pickup? So I've drone, I've driven uh, the Porsche Cup on the iRacing wet tire. I got access to it for a couple of hours when that was that patch mistake when they put out the patch and left wet tires in the Porsche Cup, <laughs> and then they reverted it, brought iRacing down. But I just happened to be in the session at Hockenheim. Yeah, same, Jared. I was at Hockenheim in the Porsche Cup and I could just do it was horrible obviously because it was dry yeah zero grip yeah I saw foul yeah it's looking good max size is 25 okay so I assume it's just the way it's split right 30 cars can't wait yeah yeah they haven't hidden all the rain settings now they're all over the place you can just see all the words rain there's rain in the graphic settings, there's rain in the UI settings, there's rain in the I and I. Thanks. Cheers, guys. The estimated SOF is, is the leader not gridding? Oh, the soft just popped up. It's the soft. I'm not still not used to that soft message. I was like, wait, he's not there? Cross thinks so will follow. There he is. Cross 3600 just followed. I hope it's random. I think it'd be based on the time of day and the location and all that. Thank you. Hey, Mick. Let's go. the hell, man? What on earth was that? Now my car's bent to oblivion. It's a straight line, man. I have no words. I, I didn't I didn't see what happened. But my car's completely effed. I don't even know why I'm driving it back. We'll look at it in the replay.
I don't know. Wait, what the feck, man? Yeah, I'm reporting him. 100%. I mean, he, like, he gets so excited. Twat, man. Honestly, what is this? This is how excited he got. I have to be ahead. I use the Conspit auto launch pedals. I have to be ahead. I have to be. I used auto launch. Honestly, what a twat, mate. I don't believe it. I honestly can't. If tried to overtake full on the grass. Yeah, he just got excited because he'd done something right in his life for the first time ever and got a good start. And that's it. Alright, done. <clears throat> Absolute donkey. Ah, there's iRacing allows auto launch pedals now. You can just hold a button. That's it. Race done. It is allowed, yeah, iRacing confirmed that because of the application being on the hardware or something, I don't know, iRacing confirmed, it's fine though. <laughs> Have you not seen them? You can literally plot out your clutch release, so you can do, you plot out, you plot out how your clutch will release, imagine like this.
Ah, do I just open a friggin' ACC instead? Content management. Imagine being able to uh, plot out your clutches release here, like forty percent, and then how it smooths. That is what I mean. He didn't need to give room, Muppet. You were behind. He's saying the other guy should have gave him room. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. This isn't an overtake. This is a polite pass. You should just uh, facilitate. I can't open my uh, Steam to close it. I didn't mean to open it. Steam uses up a bunch of resources because it starts updating every app you own. How long is the race, boy? Yeah, I won't even be done, right? Eight minutes of repairs. How long are these races? I just don't want this ass to beat me because he's going to head out. I can't believe he thinks the uh, guy in front should have gave space. What? <laughs> what is he talking about? You're not alongside. The corner's not yours. What is he talking about? How about you lift? Let's make sure we get the whole field being wiped out. Let's see if he does anything on his rejoin lap. Just because. It would be nice. No. Ah! Whoops. Man can't even protest right. Whoops. Okay, so that's the section, right? Okay, that was my fault. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm just going to save the whole thing. I don't even remember how to use this thing. No doubt was not good from my side. Really? No, that's not an apology. That's him. Oh, wait. What does a protest actually mean? Um, how long did some people say the race was? So you only clicked the cut the first time. Okay. 15 laps. How many laps are we in? Wait, did he actually head out? Yeah, the guy actually went out. I'm actually losing eye rating because of him. I think for a pleb, he had a rather good start. That's why I called it out. For a guy who can't drive, look at this start. He made me in the leader and everyone behind look like fools. Look. This is from perspective behind. Oh, I suppose he did have a really bad start. Damn, this guy. It was a good start. It's the one thing is... Oh my god. How comes this guy... Not that it's his fault. How comes he comes crewing over at such ferocity? Oh, he tries to save it. Go further back. What? I can't go further back than that. Oh, further back in the grid.
How did Tommy get through? Because it all happened right in front of him, so he just slowed. <coughs> yeah, Tommy was here. He was fine. Oh, Tommy had a shocking start, though. Tommy got swamped. That's probably what saved him. He had bodyguards around him. Look. Oh. <laughs> How did Tommy come out of this fourth? Oh, everyone's dead in front. Yeah. Yeah, Tommy looked like Moses for a second there. For a, for a split second. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this went well. This went well. Jamie, look, mate. I'm protesting this guy, mate. This is me. This is the leader. Just tell me what you think of this. And at first, he thought the guy should just leave more room. Ambitious, a little bit ambitious, you know. He went for a... I mean, it's not like he was forced out wide. This was a life choice. Uh, and he also went out and did a couple of laps. He's out there driving now to make me lose more iron. Just to put the cherry on. Yeah. He's a good driver though. Yeah, he's just out there driving. Cockpit from the culprit. Yeah, he had a good start. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Were fixed. Well, that was exciting. I've lost uh, 250 IR rating in three races. Tempted by GT. Yeah, Hunter, what, Le Mans? Yeah, for sure. Whoa. Man.
I don't know, man. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Jamie. He just got excited. It was a good launch. They should just qualified better. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, that was 5.8k. We're going to be 5.5k now. The grind starts again. Morning, Colin. Yeah, that's what I said to him, Jacob, in chat. You can't even drive on grippy grass, mate. Give it up. I will protest it though. <laughs> I just lost 137 I rating from a standing start. I qualified second. P3 got a really good launch. Sent it on one over the grass. In a straight, Colin. Sorry, before you think, we're not at a corner. He drove on the grass to try it fully on the grass. Like four tyres. Lost control. Took out the leader. Took out me. <laughs> and I lost 100 and... 20, 130 at the Daytona 24 because I drove two hours then my teammate obviously crashed on early like early early so I lost it all so we're down 250 in the last uh, couple of days I mean I'll try and get 6k but that's a lot of Imola wins and I don't really drive peak up all that much I'm enjoying it well I don't know if I enjoyed the last race Yikes. Yeah, it's a little dead, but yeah. Poor Sharasar there, please. Yeah, I don't mind them usually, Tom. Obviously, I'm leaning the other way now, like right now. But yeah, usually I quite like stand stops. <laughs> Not that I hate rolling. I like, obviously, I've done a million more rolling than I have standing.
But yeah, I've only got time for one more race, and I'm off to Apex. So do this. I hope it lasts more than uh, half a corner. It's a good lap. Oscar's here. Yeah? If there's a quality set available, you can practice anything you want, quality or race. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see Vincent too. Was here. I suppose it is register time, though. So it could have just gone to register. Same bad, you know, to be honest. For this track. One of the tests. Yeah, we're still in the open race and losing 137 I rating. <laughs> it's been a while since I wanted to protest something. I love this truck as well, yeah.
<laughs> oh, okay, good luck. Matty. Alright, see if we can get four. Come on. Nice, Henry. Make sure you ask them questions, mate. Yeah, Tommy, what a joke, man. 137 I rating in the bin, man. So, bye. <laughs> yeah, make sure you interview them. Don't be desperate for the job, you know. Ask them questions in such a way that you're asking if you want to work there, you know. Don't ask general questions like, when was you founded? Ask a question relevant, relevant to your employment. How good's the coffee here, sir? And he'll tell you, be like, no, bring me one. He's like, I can't work in this place for shit coffee, so bring me your best coffee. Be quick as well. And then, yeah, let's see. Online interview, yeah, still. Make sure, just make sure you ask questions. Tommy, I couldn't believe it, mate. Do you know what he said? <laughs> he said the guy didn't leave him room. Oh, thanks, Jacob. <laughs> I was like, leave you room. You were behind him. You mounted the grass to overtake him. What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> what did you? Ah. Uh... Yeah, same. I politely asked him a few things as well. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Fixed. Well, it was good to see you back racing, Tommy. Shame we didn't get to get our joint podium. Although you're standing start, mate. Holy crap, it looked like you got swamped into oblivion. <laughs> like, I'm watching the replays, then I get to your camera, and I'm like, oh, okay, Tommy's a good... And then, just before the accident, I see, like, five cars <laughs> swarm you. <laughs> I did save the replay, yeah. That guy's going down. I'm tweeting this thing. I'm, I'm out in iRacing. No, I'm joking. I'll go through standard procedures. Mine's showing it quick. Yeah? Uh, I'm going to show you from my stream. I'm going to show you from... Because I'm lazy. Yeah? I'm going to show you from... Because I'm lazy. People are always like, I didn't know you could rewind live streams. Yep. Alright, you want to see the standard start? The race is quite short, so you have to be bear with me. It's very hard to get on it. Oh, the soft just popped up. It's the soft. I'm not still not used to that soft message. I was like, wait. The oh, hell? so we've already missed the race, sorry. Okay. Watch here. Oh no, watch the mirror here. What the hell, man? Right, I'll show you what actually happened. Here we go. <laughs> 
Let me just DM spam him first, then we'll view it apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Give David time and then he'll show you the replay. Wait, no, we're still DM spamming. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Donkey, honestly. That's that's No, stop DM like how do I fast forward without it going forward a mile? Okay, here we go. Yep, and this wiped out the half the field, including me. <laughs> hey, I kept it as donkey was the most offensive word I use. He said the guy in front should have left space. I said Muppet. Oh, okay. That, that's lower, though. That's lower than Donkey. I don't know. Personally, I'd rather be called a Muppet than Donkey. Wait, I should have towed. Wait, when? <laughs> when should I have towed? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he didn't apologise. He said, uh, I just thought I should have all F4. The car carries on, by the way. People who are all F4. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, he didn't apologise. He said, the guy in front should have left space. And that's when I lost my... That's when I lost it. I was, I was like, what? Like, space. You never earned space. You were behind him. And you had it... Then you got on the grass to overtake him. When, when was you entitled to space? Adopt it, yeah. Well, that was exciting. Wait, are we really 5.4k? Bruh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it was like 5.8 the other day. What? It must be very high 5.4. Surely. Come on now. Yeah, 5491. Okay. Look, that says 5628. This says 5491. And just before Daytona, we were 58. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ouch. Yeah, I had a G29 for years. Uh. I don't know what to say, Terry. Like Tommy said, it's very difficult to create content when it's like this. That's it. Tommy put the nail on the head for us Irish streamers. When it's like this, it's just what do you do? I mean, the race isn't still for another 12 minutes. So I've had nothing to do this whole time. Practice? It's not me that needs the practice, right? <laughs> True, don't know. It's not the content I want to make, though. Yeah. Chess time. You got a point. The only issue I have at chess is in iRacing I am semi competent. I think that's a good description. In chess, I am uh, excited to play, <laughs> but I may have a problem. It's just really difficult, Chess. Tommy, he stayed in the pits for 12, 13 minutes and went back out to do a lap to get more... I rate him dropped on me. <laughs> By the way, Tommy, that guy that wrecked the field stayed in the pits the entire time until like three laps from the end and went out to gain a position.
Oh, yeah, you've got the Porsche grid. I'm using the VRS wheel room at the moment. I've got the GSI behind my head there. That Porsche wheel is a good looking wheel, Tommy. Yeah, we'll, we'll slowly get it back, Terry. We're like 500 down from Daytona. First world problems. Tommy's got more wheels than officials done in the last 12 months. Facts. <laughs> or at least equal. <laughs> ah, it's good, mate. Still cheaper than golf, remember that. Unless you do golf as well, then, well, you're effed. Thanks, Terry, yeah. You do play golf. Oh, okay, it's over, mate. Your f future financially is over, mate. <laughs> I work out, of course. <laughs> oh, I knew you did admin. I've seen pictures in the Discord and the thing. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cool, man. Uh, you do, like, management stuff and everything. Uh, uh, it's been a while, but I remember you posting stuff on... Oh, maybe it was on Twitter. I can't remember. I follow you on all the things. Nice. Yeah, his and the Annex streams were usually quite short, unfortunately. That was a bad time them two had. At one point, luck was against them. I think for Yannick, it was over a year of, uh, well over a year of not getting to the end of an endurance race. And it obviously started to get annoying, as you can imagine, all that work. I think Tommy had actually very similar experience. Almost a year of just no endurance finishes, just shit luck. Tampa Tommy's broadcast, I was watching where he set up like the sofa camera uh, and everything like, do you remember when you did that Tommy? He was like gonna set up like a, so you can watch from behind the scenes, like the whole thing and I think it was T1 Sebring, it was over. That was it. I think Tommy's stream ended like, yeah so, whatever. End. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, I can imagine all that work, energy, timing, camera, make it look good. You know, for nothing. Look, I don't care if anyone overtakes fully on the grass. Go do it. Do it to your heart's content. Stay on the grass. Hey, Fabian. Yeah, I know, Tommy. But if you ever want to do endurance, mate, I'll I'll drive with you. Even if you want to do a minimal prep one. You're a good enough driver. Obviously. Yeah, Tommy and Sam, sorry, imagine how much purple that would be. Imagine. That's a lot of purple. Morning, need your wisdom. Struggling to, struggling with trying GTV as I only normally drive GT4. What do I need to change in my style? Um, from GT4. Probably braking less. In GT4, you can get away with uh, yeeting on the brakes. GT3s, you definitely want to brake less, like 65 to 75 sort of range. And you want to brake early. And if you can do any steer, I know this isn't a GT3, but any steering, you want your brake pressure low. So if you ever find yourself, like look at your telemetry, if you're ever steering into a corner with 50 plus, then you're doing it wrong, even 40. So you peak brake, and then you need to be releasing slowly in a GT3 
as you go to turn to get the trail in, keep the nose low. I know, yes, chat. So you can have peak pressure, but if you're going to start turning, you release your pressure and you just keep a little bit of trail in. And again, progressively onto the brakes. Don't just yeet to 70%. Progressive to 70%. Like I'm going to do in this car in this corner. You progressively get the brake down, hold, and then for turning, you be releasing. If you aren't releasing and you're like, David, I can't, mate. Like, I can't be in this corner releasing when I turn. Then it's you got to brake earlier. It's a telltale sign that you need to brake earlier. If you're always keeping that 50, 60%, for turning, then you need to break early because you need to be bleeding off to turn. <clears throat> right, when is this race? We are registered, right? Some practice, some starts. Man, I'm so excited to race today. I spent the whole time practicing. I remember me and Tommy did uh, officials at, what was the new track? Is it Jerez or was it, which new track was it? Bah, I don't remember, but we got killed like so many times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it was now. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, if this race goes bad, let's get our 5.5k back and then we'll chew away at the rest slowly. Yeah, the clutch is gone. I didn't know you could kill the clutch in GTP. I was doing an AI race um, just to get some photos and test uh, some benchmarking. And um, I did a standing start, like dual clutch. And then I couldn't shift gear. They're showing us the black flag. They're showing us. Got to come in for a stop and go. Man, I can't get the kick. I can't get the kick I want. Nope. <laughs> Definitely wasn't the kick. Hey, David. You were the leader in that race, right? You were P1, I was P3. Oh, I was P2. And P3 wiped us all out. I protested it. 100%. I assume it's you. I've got a good memory for names. I assume it's you. Good lap, by the way. All right, so doing the next one in one minute. Let's go. Benny, thanks for following. Be right back. Be right back. Just followed.
Right, hello, hello. Uh, oh, Owen's here. We had a good race last race. <coughs> Hey, Benny. Yeah, I'm good, Benny. We lost like 137 IR in the last race because of P3. Yeet in P1 on the grass before... On the straight, before, before T1. P3 tried to send it... P3 tried to send it three wide on David over the grass. All over the grass. Uh, no, Fabian. Is it Fabian? Fabian? No, no, no. It was crazy because, well, he had a really good start. He had a really good start. So, yeah, he would... Yeah. He just got excited. Look, I'm calmer now. He just got really excited and didn't want to waste the launch. It was a stunning pull away. All right, this is our third race in Peak Up in a very long time. First race last night was fun. We messed up quality, but we had a lot of fun. We had a good bat with Owen. Managed to just about beat Owen yesterday. Uh, quality was fun on the last one. Thanks, man. I'll try. Oh, Florian. Okay. Anyway, it's all good. Uh, 45, 44. That sort of mark will work. But, to be honest, mate, um, the lower you go, yeah, it can be better, but it's, it's also a lot more difficult. So, here be dragons. I'm warning you. Enzo, thanks for follow. Is it too bright? So, threats? No, not running really reshade or anything. What, bright in a bad way?
Flat from the wheel, yeah. Alright, let's try again. <clears throat> Didn't feel great. Mateus, thanks for following. It's a terrible lap, come on. Alright, it's over. It's over. Just overheated the rears, F. And a tenth down. I need to find some tents. Come on. <clears throat> There's two of them. That's three. And there's the last one. Woo, not bad considering we completely effed sector one. <laughs> completely effed. Yeah, maybe Paul was on the cards, but end of the day, I mean, put it together and I didn't, so. Good from... Sector 1 was just so bad. I think I'd have completely lost the rear. <laughs> I'm in the cursed P2 position again. Yeah, we lost uh, a lot of time here. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> I'm too far left. I think more. Yeah, we're so offline right now. Oh! <laughs> this is a lucky lap. <clears throat> but yeah, the rest of the set was bang on. This was good. I think we went right out. Yeah. This was good. Carried quite some good speed here. And I braved the left curb. That was brave, but this was brave as well. It's almost an off track, but yeah, it was good. I cut a lot here. I was actually waiting for the slowdown. I was pretty nervous, I think, to be honest. That was close. I think if my front had landed on the grass and my rear, probably was a slowdown, but it was worth it in the end. Yeah, this could have been a really good week, right? <clears throat> my quality seems good enough. Like, we could have gained a lot of eye rating, but now I'm negative. Uh, I don't know. A huge number, 137 last race we lost. Oh. Please let me get to T1. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't send me off in a bad mood. <clears throat> I 
Uh, this is fixed, yeah. But yeah, I think a six was on the card, so very high six, that second lap if I hadn't. Uh, ended, I don't know why I'm saying it should have been, because at the end of the day, I, uh, I'm the one who blew it. We can all say what we could have done. If I'd have got up at five in the morning and practiced for four hours and analyzed telemetry and tested setups and tested wing, uh, rear ride heights, I could have done a three, but, you know. That's not how it works, right? Please, <laughs> let me live. T2, Henry. The estimated strength of field oh. is 830. It usually isn't curry, but I was dead in that wall last race. Hundred percent better. Have it very high. It's a light car. I have my air force a bit high when I'm new to a car or I'm nervous or I haven't driven this car much, so yeah, running it high helps. Helps me feel the weight distribution. P3 looks alright. Hey Ben Holmes. I guess better, man. No, the last one I lost 137 homes. P3 sent it three wide at the start before T1 and killed us all. But we qualified P2 on that one as well. Hey Patrick, yeah, ouchies. I lost, I lost 250 since Daytona now. 
they turn like 120 and you last race 130. Yeah, thank you, Holmes. <laughs> Your shoulder and my eye rating. It's nice to be doing more pickup. I've only done Zanfort this season and last. So nice to be doing this. Happy well, Patrick. Patrick Giga Apex Porsche Cup driver. We picked up a 1 2 at Zanfort. Don't ask which way around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, lasted 20 seconds, first attempt. Two hours, 20 seconds, second attempt. Worst endurance weekend ever, mate. Oh, oh, F man. 22 and a half hours. Sorry, buddy, that hurts more than what I went through. Yeah, is that his son? Yeah, I really should have got pole. Blowing T2 has uh, cost me here, big time. Thomas, you tried peak up much? Mr. David Cameron in chat. Hey, sir. How you doing, mate? Dave, man, I'm glad you weren't here for the first race. We didn't even make T1. <laughs> P3 got a really good launch and sent it three wide on us. We were one and two qualying. And we all died. Everyone died, man. He tried on all four tyre overtake on the grass, on the straight. Yeah, his launch was really good compared to everyone else. Really good. Like, yeah, he didn't want to waste it. And then he just he hit P1. P1 hit me. We then went spiraling and everyone... Man, we didn't make T1. <laughs> it's tough out there. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. Yourself as well, hopefully. I'm enjoying the peak up again. It's been a while. Hey, Wesley. Yeah, have you driven pickup much, Thomas, recently? Yeah, this is the last race, unfortunately. Then I'm off to Apex. Um, and then when I'm back, I will throw up my stream. Once my rig's set up there, I can stream from Apex a lot more. Uh, it was like a 3K dude, like Florian. Nah, it's all good. He didn't... I mean, he didn't apologize. He said P1 should have given him space. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, I don't think it was intentional. He just, yeah, he just got excited. He had a really good launch. Like, honestly, it was, if he'd have parted us through the middle, he'd have probably been clear at T1. He had that much of a good start on us all. Well, Matty, there's uh, like 13 rigs there, but yeah, setting up my own one there. For streaming and you know it'll look giga
Um, Dave, if you're still here, that video you did with Mick at the start, Mick Anderson. I've known Mick for years, mate. Mate, I was laughing my ass off watching your video. So thank you. Because every time Mick's in the chat, I bring it up. I play your sound calling him out. <laughs> So Mick technically, yeah, was the first man I ever did a team event with. Watkins Glen, first team, the first time I ever registered in a team in iRacing ever. Back in the 1K days was Mick. <laughs> Mick! I loved it. I'm going to save Dave Cam's voice saying that. And every time Mick comes into the chat, I'm going to play it. Yeah, exactly, Patrick. Hey, Seren. Dude, thanks, pal. How did your Suzuka races go this time, man? Domination? Welcome, everyone. We lost 137 I rating last race. Oh, not great. F. Yeah, me too, mate. I got wiped out before T1. Was zero X in Imola like a boss though? How the hell? Hey ref. Yeah, before T1 wiped out. Yeah, they're very tight around here, Glenn. Extremely tight. You can get four X a lap easy. Especially in this car where it's thin, narrow, i.e. Uh, you don't get much wiggle room. No, old so I'm good. I've lost enough the last two races. Oh, no words, man. Yeah. Dave, I was talking about your YouTube video with Mick. Man, you've just made my favorite ever YouTube video. I've known Mick for a long time. He was the first person I ever did a team event with. <laughs> it was the proto race at Daytona. You was calling out Mick's name for uh, bonking up the start. Mate, thank you. I'm making a soundbite out of that. Every time Mick comes into the chat, I play uh, your YouTube video <laughs> of that segment. <laughs> he is quick, yeah, yeah. He actually took a year off uh, recently due to an injury. Um, he's back now, obviously. Yeah, he was gone for uh, maybe longer than a year, to be honest. Wasn't the best start, no. Mate, honestly, I may even have your soundbite as a ringtone. <laughs> when you said his name, I was watching it, and you're the. It was playing on my phone while I was making breakfast. Are you fucking? And uh, you know you are. When I heard his name, I was like, "No way, it's my Mick. No way." <laughs> yeah. Well, go check it out, Dave Cam on YouTube. It's the Daytona Night Race, I think, in the prototype. Uh, you know, the GT1 prototype thing. I don't want to show his video, like, because go watch his ads, basically. Go sub all the YouTube buttons, press them all. The thanks button, the sub button, the follow button, the bell button. Without people like Dave, uh, like Dave Cam, I wouldn't be doing this. What I'm doing, so. Yeah, survived the start. There's nothing I can do about Owen. He's, he's 
Yeah, he's really consistent. I should have just got him in quality. That's what I should have done. But we blew it. Again. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a zero X race. He says confidently. Alright, we're finally dropping Tim. We're obviously just better on tyres. Because his pace was good for the first half. That used to be my Achilles heel in this car, tyres. Because once they start going, you've got nothing left. A couple of lockups, and it'll. Your last lot of laps will be horrible. <laughs> Not it. Yeah, it's definitely something you want to avoid in this car. This should give my 5.5k back. So that's something. Small victory, right? Five eight seems like a distant memory. You know, like last Thursday. Or was it last Wednesday? Thursday, I think. Yeah, the guy behind's falling off like mad. Yeah. <laughs> it was a distant array. I enjoy this car though. I really do enjoy lapping in this game. The racing's always good. I mean, it's a bit spread out right now, but door to door racing's fun in this car. Unless they drive into your door like race one. Whoa! Bit of tire skipping. All right, five laps. Let's see if there's any pace left in the car. I'm going to push. Yep, Sebring all week, mate. I just hope it's not Acura. Yeah, GTP. I'm just praying it's not Acura. Caddy, BMW, or even take the Porsche. I just don't want to drive that Acura thing. It will be the Acura, I think. Well, the guy behind's dropping a second a lap. Slow down. Ain't no way. Rain on. Come on. That yeah, was talking about next week, Tony. Sebring GTP IMSA, can't wait for that. Uh, 
Um, I think it's March we'll get it, but if they're still working on software just posting pictures, then it's still, you know, a little way off, I think. No, it's just automatic. Dan? I didn't press anything. What? Sebring? Can't wait for Sebring. It's one of my favourites in GTP. Probably. <laughs> Oh, look what behind if you hurt your tyres, chat. 1.1 a lap, now he's dropping back. And if you remember, he was all over me at the start. Matty's doing this week. For sure he's doing Imola. Just needs to race. Yeah, for sure, it's like, you've got to look after the tyres. Man front struggling. Not majorly, I mean, I'm chill. My tyres feel brand new, brakes feel brand new, I feel calm. His car doesn't look as happy. Yeah, this in Red America, light is different, as you know. Uh, so to hear that, I feel. Just chin up, mate, and go for it. That's it. Just that's how you get good, man. Just chin up and go for it. My last race was the worst race I've had in probably a year. Lost 137 I rating. Didn't even make turn one. But chin up. We're going for it. We're driving really well. The wind could be on. I had the pace for pole, but I blew it in turn two in lap two. Um, P3 sent it three wide before T1, and he drove all over the grass to do it, and he lost control on the grass and wiped out me and the leader. Before turn one. Green altered with the five months, thank you. Full send, yeah, I'm trying. Green altered just to subscribe for five months. Full send, let's go. Let's go. Man, I cannot believe the pace drop off behind. He's gonna be six, seven seconds back at this rate. <laughs> Good man. Good luck as well. And just be calm. No! That was almost enough track. I like this track as well. Off tracks are tricky, but I like it. Yeah, I know. How 
How many laps left? Two. Come on, though. Oh, no. One. Next one's white flag, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's the closest I've been in ages. Spicy meatball. I needed more than one lap. He drove really well. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Yeah, I blew this opportunity in quality. Thanks, boys. Yeah, I did everything I could. Fastest lap of the race. Uh, yeah, I tried. So yeah, I yeah. Do you know what? I absolutely love that race. I gave it my. I messed up in quality, and no, I mean didn't. So. Let's look at the start. I think P3 again got the better start. Oh no, it's four. P3 got an awful start. And then that was it. That was all she wrote. Could he do no more? This guy was so quick in the beginning. Watch. Well, let's see his lap pace. Was it him dropping off? So, mid 45s, high, and then 46, 46, high 45, where... We stayed mid the whole time. 42, 45, 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2, 0. So, yeah, he just 
his car went away from him. Um, and the leader got a slowdown, right? Let's have a look. Unfortunately for me, he got the slowdown when he was furthest away from me. Whoa! I assume that's it. I've never even thought to try that. <laughs> I assume that's the slowdown. That is really weird. Hey, Danny. That line he's taken. <laughs> yeah, he's lucky he didn't bottom out on the second one and sling it in. Oh, he just cleared the second one. Actually, that looks pretty gangster. That does look pretty cool. No, just the one time. You got to slow down for it, mate. <laughs> I want to turn that into a picture, actually. Oh, man. Danny, we lost 137 I rating in the first race, mate. 137, if you can add and leave that. We got wiped out before the start, though. Before T1, sorry. There we go. Before. Oh, that looks good. There you go. I'm going to the Sim Center in about 10 minutes. I'm leaving in a minute. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I need to I need to actually leave in a second. All right, photo done. Uh, so a quick skim through the instance and then I'm out of here. Oh, I've already bought the camera, hold on. What? <laughs> What's a Kieran? That's a sucky way for it to end. 
Ooh. Whoa, mate, how is this Porsche not got spun by that? Everyone moans about netcode, but this guy, Javen, has just been saved by it. That's good livery. Yeah, the pink car is good late. He, all the pink car is caring about is this guy. He's trying to outbreak this guy. And he, yeah, just plows into the guys in front. That sucks. That's a lot of people as well. Oh, the rejoin. Full lock. No. Where you going? <laughs> Where you going, mate? Oh, he locks his front right. <laughs> You really want to be careful bumping this curb if you're going to race him. And I'd be really careful because obviously the tyres then compress in and yeah. That's it. And there's no fixing it. <laughs> That's funny. Good avoidance. Uh oh. F. Uh oh, Mr. Late Breaker. Nah, you won't learn. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Holy hell, son, what is with people's braking? There's cars. <laughs> How many DQs do you think are in this race? Oh, we need to watch this. I'm not even going to skip. Red Bull versus a cruise missile. Uh, 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 Red Bull wins. Whoa. Glad we stayed with that. It is. It is. Once it starts going, it's not easy to save. Oh. Oh, wait. This was the leader, right? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm there. Yeah. I saw him do this. I think he was trying to break the draft. Just bonk the wall a little bit. Oh, no. That's it. Hey, Matt, by the way. Right. Let me look at the results for today. <laughs> uh. Okay, results. First race. <sighs> Second race. Much is better. Yeah, I definitely uh, prefer the result of the second race. If 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 I'm being uh, biased because it's me, we got a five five back. We just keep doing that. Right, I need to shoot. I need to get to Apex. I need to dress. Get something to eat, and then uh, I know I am dressed. I mean, I wear shorts and I wear shorts and stuff in the rig because they're so frigging hot. Um. Okay, let me see who's streaming. Maybe we'll do some chess tonight as well. Let's see who's doing what. Fa la la la. Alright, we're gonna go raid Dario. He is doing Skippy at Bath. Yeah, I need some clothes on. From the waist down, I stream naked to help with airflow. You know how it is. I've seen you at the sim set now. To help with airflow, yeah. Wait, is this camera lagging? Or is it just me seeing it on the top screen? Camera's not lagging, right? <laughs> He's fine. Cool. Cheers, guys. I'll be back on tonight once I'm back. I don't know when I'm back, when I'm done. So, um, yeah, I'll just throw up my stream when I'm back.
Cheers all. Much love. See you later. Give, give Dario some love. Ciao.